welcome to The Daily Englisher. This is turning into an excellent Christmas. Check this out. This is an armadillo all the way from Austin, Texas. It's so cute and so cool. I can't believe someone that I've never ever met sent me a present. Thank you, Andrew. And not only an armadillo, but Texas bats too. Very cool. He even offered me free bear if I visit the US, so I'm totally there. This armadillo is the state mascot of Texas, but it originally comes from Mexico, I found out by reading this. It began its migration into Texas from Mexico about 200 years ago. The word armadillo in Spanish means little armored one. It has the unique capability to curl itself into a ball and its shell-like skin serves as protection from predators. Hmm, but it's fluffy. Maybe the real ones have shells. Today's song is No Woman No Cry by Bob Marley. You must have heard of Bob Marley, right? He was a singer, songwriter, guitarist and activist from Jamaica and he is the most widely known performer of reggae music. The official language in Jamaica is English but most people speak Jamaican Patois which is a kind of English but it includes parts of other languages. It says in Wikipedia it includes words and syntax from various African languages, other European languages, pre-Columbian Caribbean languages and Asian languages. It also says that some linguists classify Jamaican Patois as a separate language and some classify it as a dialect of English. So the song goes, no woman, no cry, which means no woman, don't cry. And then it goes something like this. Well, I'm simplifying it a bit, but because I remember when we used to sit in a government yard in Trenchtown, observing the hypocrites mingle with the good people we met. He says, hypocrites instead of hypocrites, because in some parts of Jamaica, people don't pronounce the H, I think. I don't know anything about Jamaica, I just read that on Wikipedia. Trenchtown is a neighborhood located in Kingston, the capital and largest city of Jamaica. But I don't know what they mean by government yard, and I don't know why they were sitting there. Anyway, the reason why I chose this song, apart from the fact that I like it, is for this part. I remember when we used to sit. Used to. Very, very useful word to know, but a lot of students I've met in Japan don't know it. What does it mean? It's used to say that something happened continuously or frequently during a period in the past. For example, about me, I used to live in Nagoya. I used to be a bartender. I used to have really long dreads. You can use used to in an answer to, do you watch Ainori? No, I used to, but we don't have TV at the moment. <laughs> Kia ora and stick news today, Canada Post have changed the rules for their Santa letter writing system after several children received letters from Santa containing inappropriate language. For the last 26 years, Canada Post has been running a Santa letter writing program. They have volunteers reply to children who have written letters to Santa Claus. But this year, for the first time, there was a problem with the system. Yesterday, the company received nine complaints about Santa letters. A spokesperson said the complaints ranged from inappropriate language and observations about the child's letter to Santa to more disturbing comments. CBC reports Canada Post is now urging parents to open letters from Santa themselves before their children can do so. The delivery of Santa letters has been temporarily suspended while the company searches for other inappropriate Santa letters that might still be in the postal system. And the Santa letter writing system has now been changed to include a logging and tracking process. And that was Stick News for Friday the 14th of December. Kia ora. いや、上は壁強かったですね。でも結構パウダーは硬かったけど、写真は。今日アンナプリスでしたね。いや、始めたのは8歳から始めたんですけど、途中途中で遊びながらやってたから、本気になったのは2年前ぐらいかな。住ん
Did you used to write letters to Santa when you were a kid? Of what you wanted for Christmas? What did you want? You wanted your own TV. Did you ever get one? Bummer. What? What's magic sand? Um, I can't remember ever writing letters. Maybe I did. Dunno. I wrote lists though. Yeah. Usually near the top was things like my own room, a TV. Uh, no, not my own, just a TV in the house, because we didn't have one. No. I remember some other things that I wanted too. Bubblegum jeans and magic sand. I don't know, I can't remember. Some kind of sand that changed colour. I just remember really wanting it. And bubblegum jeans. Never got those either. Where's the armadillo? He's next to the gorillas. Where's the armadillo? He's next to Ashimo. Where's the armadillo? He's between the pigs. Where's the armadillo? He's on the seal. Where's the armadillo? He's under the lobster. And that was the Daily English Show. See you tomorrow. Bye.